Being cautious of business partners in the Philippines. This is regardless if they're Filipino or Westerners. The reality is Filipinos are hit and miss. You can meet some good guys and you can meet some really bad ones. Um, the foreigners, however, you really don't understand somebody till you've spent a lot of time with them. Um, I know a friend of mine who got into a restaurant over in Toledo with somebody to find out that the guy they went into business with was a drunk. He wasn't a drunk until they met, I don't think. I think it was more a case of being in the bar restaurant all day, nothing to do, then the drink habit kicked in because every other time my friend had seen him up until they went into partnership, the guy was all sober, really nice guy, etc. But once they opened the business, he's this guy's smacking the uh, staff, the female staff on the backside and customers' wives, etc. Uh, obviously it doesn't do your business any good. The other side of it being is I know several people have been ripped off. I know people have had their bank accounts emptied, but um, safe, uh, what do you call it, uh, security vaults in the business, etc. All the cash is gone. I know somebody who went back to Australia, left their partner in charge of the business while they're away, come back and everything had been sold, including his house and his car. So be very cautious of who you go into business with because the chances of catching them once they flee or whatever is pretty slim um, for example the guy that ripped off the Australian guy he wanted to leave the country anyway so basically he ripped him off and that fund he took back to wherever he was going um, the chance of catching him outside the Philippines is zero and this is why you really need to be careful um, a lot of the bad stuff even happens with guys wives and stuff which is why if you're serious about business you really need to think about your own security how you manage the money how do you stop more than uh, just one person getting access to it ideally you want to have multi-layered protection on anything financial and anything stock related because i've mentioned before about the chef bringing in his own food and cooking it and selling it in a guy's restaurant and the restaurant ain't doing very well but the chef's doing pretty pretty good for himself all right thanks for watching